Hey guys, well we're going back down here. We kind of scabbed this planetary back together to be completely honest with you. It'll probably last the thing years to be honest with you. Now I don't know about the seal. There was only one, all the needle bearings were accounted for and they weren't even damaged really. I, they weren't. Uh, you know, they're using the pins on that first stage as the inner race for the bearing and they were not pitted at all. I can't believe how, well, the only saving grace of the whole thing is, yeah, they didn't have any oil in it, but they weren't completely dry. So, and, and the other saving grace I think was, it was on an excavator. It wasn't moving very fast, so it didn't create that much heat. So, I basically took it all apart. I cleaned everything up. And then, uh, uh, greased all the rollers, needle bearings, put them back in the gears. I had one tooth on one planet gear. And one tooth on one of the ring gear that that planet gear coincided with. And, uh, I just took a file, which I've done before, and I just cleaned the rough spot off of it. That way the gear just kind of skipped over that little divot in the gear tooth. And I mean, it's kind of a gamble, I have to admit. I've done it a lot of times. I've got away with it more times than not. But you have a chance at a likelihood of that gear being cracked and not being able to see it. And then it coming apart and getting in there and screwing stuff up. I explained that to the owner and he said, hey, you know what, go put that thing together because he's scared to death, I don't blame him. They're stealing everything around there where it's set. There's nobody there to watch it. They're stealing the radiators. I've got some logging customers that they're telling me that they're stealing the radiators out of their equipment as they're setting at the landing. So they're having to pile logs and everything around all their equipment to keep them from stealing everything when they're not there on the weekends or something. That's because the scrap prices are up. So they're just anything these tweaking thieving bastards can get their hands on, they're stealing it. So anyway, he said, if you can get that thing together where we can finish that job up and one day, we just got one day there, I can get that thing on the low boy and get it out of there. That's what we're going to go do. Anyhow, uh, I'll see you down here when we get this thing, uh, we'll start putting it back together. Okay, so I need to get this here. I'm going to have to put these in individually, I think. Let's just take the carrier over here. took this thing in a pressure washer and just really blew it all out. It's just residual oil that was still left in between. Well, and I poured some, I poured some ATF on it in there when I was lubing stuff up too. Just anything to get it wet. But anyway, uh, let's see here. Got to be really careful here and take these off. Let's see if we can get them in here one at a time. I'll put you on the lid. here to clean our lid right here. And I gotta be careful when I lift these up that the washers won't come with it so all the needle bearings stay in it. Now that's not really gonna work, is it guys? No. This is all gonna have to go in as an assembly. Yeah, that is going to have to go in as an assembly because there's nothing. These pins, yeah, they're, well, actually, no, I can do that. 
that's what I want to do. That would be the easier way to do this. I've already dropped two, two bearings already. Let me go back over there and clean them up with brake clean and lube them up, put them back in there. That's over here. I'm having to just, uh, this, this rag's not very clean. Let's get a this whole setup like this out of here washer and grease the living shit out of the washers on both sides that way they stay put they don't fall down while I'm trying to get it lined up in there Kind of a rinky dink setup to be honest with you. I'm not too impressed with Case's whole thing here, I'll tell you that. I'm just worried more along the inside one is the one I'm worried about falling down on me. Okay. Let's take it over here and let me grab the camera with a rag because my hands got grease all over them now. And I'll just show you this one. I got one in there. Okay. All right, there's that one there. Let me get the other two in there. So this one pin, well, I guess, I guess I can stick that one in there. Okay. This ought to be fun, fun, fun. Tappity, tappity. Make sure that my we're going into all our gears. 
Okay, now I'm confident that I can put the bolts in it. But I gotta really clean it up and red Loctite these because I've been warned about these that these bolts will come loose if you don't clean the threads up and you don't Loctite them. Okay, I got those in there and uh, red Loctited the shit out of them and torqued them to 410 foot pounds. Holy shit. <clears throat> those are tight. Uh, so the next thing I want to do here uh, okay let's go slide this let's go slide this gear in just like a so da ding da ding Okay, so then I think this entire sim we could go. Actually, let's take this and we'll slide it in there. Spine. And then stick that on there. Yeah, it's a hell of a lot better. And I read the book last night. And I didn't see anything about any timing marks or any of that shit. Nothing was timed. Okay. set of planetaries in here and I'm trying to think should I should I just slide the whole thing in this see here I don't know see picking that see this is all the stuff that came apart and I've got it all back together and got it everything lubed up everything's good so let's I think I'll just slide the whole damn thing in there we'll turn it that way got the o-ring on there Screwdriver and line this up, and we'll bolt her in there and we'll put oil in it. Right. Come on, we old cold blood girl. I need to get the hood open and everything. I was gonna check the oil in the end, I can't get the hood open. Gotta sit there and mess around with that lock and try to get it unlocked, get the hood open. I need to check the fluids and everything else on it.
is Sat somewhere for too damn long is what happened. Sat somewhere for a long time. Uh, when you get a machine like that, you gotta check this stuff out, you know, when you buy it. Cummins in it. Yep, 6T59. Rotary pump. There's something leaking here on this one. Fuel leak. Let's see, I wonder if they're checking the oil in the engine. Took me a little bit to get the hood open, but I'm just gonna check it while I'm here, and I'm gonna check the air cleaner too while I'm here. Okay, it's half, it's up on the hash marks on the engine oil. got that part fixed but I was just happened to get out and I actually went to get the camera to do a little filming and I seen this trail of oil right here and I thought what the hell is that <sighs> okay so 
Gotta figure out where in the hell that's coming from. Uh, that's no good. Gotta figure out what the hell that is. See it from here. I gotta go get a light shine up in that hole. It's got a hose leaking. That hose right there is leaking around the crown. There's shit. Alright, let me call him, see what he wants to do now. Well, just got off the phone with him and he said, you know, see if you can find the parts. If we have to buy a whole nother final, we'll buy a whole nother final. And he said, we'll get it ordered. What the, he wants these cylinders repacked here. Of course, he wants a new final. I think this will get them by. I drove it all the way up there to that old bus up there. And, uh, ah. And then I noticed another leak. It's leaking pretty good. The rotary distribution manifold is puking oil. So I told him, I said, yeah, you need to pull that out and reseal it. And then the hose, you can obviously see it's dripping right now. So the hose, they're going to fix the, they're going to change the hose tomorrow. But he says, I want to haul it up to the shop and drop it off and then you can do that. Rotary distribution manifold. We're not going to do it out here. I mean, I've done them in the field, but we don't want to do any more work here than we have to. They're going to basically come in tomorrow and clean this up and and uh, bring it to the shop. That's what they're going to do. So I think we'll get them by with the final job we did there. So anyway, all right, upwards and onwards. <laughs>